children in Israel, but they know you ain't gonna study. They know you ain't gonna research. Give me Job 8 and 8, brother. They know you ain't gonna research. So by they knowing you ain't gonna research, they know they can do pull all type of things over your head, man. They can pull all type of wool, wool over your head, and you will never find out. So that's why you see a lot of brothers gotta get, get run, ran off the block from preaching the gospel. That's why you, I, I was watching the video today, and I seen these brothers in, in Times Square preaching the gospel, man. And I really, you know, some, you know, some, the brothers up in New York, um, I ain't gonna say their names, but I, I watch a lot of them, you know. I get a lot of, a, a lot of, you know, a lot of different precepts from them, you know what I'm saying? And we may not be on the same page with everything, but for the most part, we got the basics down. And it's one brother I watch a lot, but I seen how they was out there in Times Square preaching the gospel. And as they were preaching, you know, I seen the police start circling. You know what I'm saying? And as they were circling, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the brother kept on teaching. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and he was saying how uh, he went to Psalm and was saying, uh, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. They kept preaching. And after a while, you know what I'm saying? They turned the brothers around, put the cuffs on, sent them out. And like an hour, two, three hours later, man, you seen them coming out again. They came out deep. You know what I'm saying? But that's the zeal of the most high, man, to do this will. They come, they gonna come against the men of the Lord. We understand that. You know what I'm saying? But right now, everything is still open right now. You understand what I'm saying? Right now, the books are still open. When I say the books, I'm talking about the scripture. Right now, the internet is still available right now. You understand what I'm saying? Every day we wake up and this is still available and the word is still available. This for y'all to get the gospel. That's what it's for, to get the gospel. You know what I'm saying? But some of us are so caught up in our past that we feel like when we leave them Sunday whorehouses, we ain't got to search. We ain't got to check nothing. We just take his word for it. Give me 1 Thessalonians 4 and 8, man. What you got, bro? No, not 1 Thessalonians uh, Jeremiah 17 and 5, bro. Job 8 and 8. Job 8 and 8. Go ahead and read that, bro. Inquire. I pray thee uh -huh. of the former age. So the Lord just said, inquire, I pray thee of the former age. So that means go ahead and search. Don't just take people's word for it. Like even when y'all see it, don't take our word for it. You gotta go search, man. The scripture just said, for inquire, I pray thee. Go ahead, bro. And prepare thyself uh -huh. to the search uh -huh. of their father. And prepare yourself to the search of your father. So who are your fathers? The ones that came before you, our forefathers. Prepare yourself for the search. But y'all lazy, man. Y'all lazy. We probably were 1 and 22, man. Uh, it might be 22. Yeah, I think it's 1 and 22. What you got, brother, gonna read that? Jeremiah 17, 5. Go ahead. Thus said the Lord, Cursed is the man that trusteth in man. Trust? Yeah. What did it say? Cursed is what now? Cursed be the man that trusted in so man. Like the scripture say, cursed be the man that trusted in man. And that's what a lot of us are doing. We trusted in man. We trusted in man. We listen to what man say. We don't study for ourselves. The scripture just says, search out the scripture of old. I'm sorry, search out the scripture for your, your, your forefather or your father. And then you read on and say, you ain't, uh, for you are but a shadow of yesterday. Something like that. But in other words, we ain't really the root. Like, we really ain't the, the completion right now. Our forefathers, when they came, they had the gospel. They had it. We don't have it. So we got to search and see what it was they were doing. Read that again, bro. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. So this is the Lord telling us to do this. Go ahead. Cursed be the man. Uh-huh. That trusted in man. Right, so curse be the man that trusted in your son the pastor. Curse be the man that trusted in your, your theologian. Curse be the man that trusted in your doctor, your reverend, your bishop, your prophetess. That got a congregation. Why need a bind? Understand what I'm saying? Curse be the man that trusted in man. You gotta search. Curse be the man that trusted in Barack Obama. What you got, Proverbs 1 and 22, right? Proverbs 1 and 22. Uh-huh. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning? How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And that's our problem, man. We love simplicity. Simplicity uh -huh. and the scorn.
corners delight in their scorning. Uh -huh. And fools hate knowledge. And fools hate knowledge. Y'all hate knowledge. We hate knowledge, man. We don't want to search, man. We don't want to get on the stage. We want to see T.I. We want to see Chad Ocho Cinco ride a bull. Because they done got locked out of the NFL. Now, they, now, now I was reading something yesterday about, uh, I can't remember what team it was, but the team was actually saying that uh, they actually pushing for them to drop the amount, the amount that they, that these players getting paid. You see what I'm saying? So curse be the man that make it flesh his arm, and that's what happened, man. A lot of us done got comfortable and made flesh our arm. You making the NFL your arm. You making the rap industry your arm. You making the music and all this type of stuff your arm, but you ain't finding out who you are according to the script. So when everything fall, you know what I'm saying? When everything fall and hit the ground, it's gonna be too late. Proverbs 35. Every word of God is pure. Every word of God is pure. Go ahead. He is a shield unto them. He is a shield unto them. Go ahead. That put their trust in him. So that's what we got to do. Put our trust in him. According to the Bible, we the children of Israel. So we sitting up here trusting all these Sunday churches. We trusting everything but what we supposed to be trusting. That's why our forefathers got carted off in the captivity. That's why the Lord put the children of Israel on slave ship. So we out here serving out our captivity right now. Every word of God is pure. But we don't want to we don't want to pay attention to that. We don't want to sit up here and pay attention to that. We would rather pay attention to BET and Vibe magazine and Jet magazine and MTV when they pushing that homosexual uh, homosexual spirit. Shalom. Shalom, Shalom bro. bro. Shalom. That's what we want to pay attention to, man. We don't want to pay attention to the law, statutes, and commandments that the Lord left for us. So now we jacked up. I mean, it's funny how we think we just at the top of the ladder, man. We just, we act like we just all that. I would not tell people I'm all that, man, when I'm at the bottom of everything, man. Matter of fact, I don't need what, I really don't want them know who I am. I might get jumped on, dog. You know what I'm saying? You mess around and tell the wrong person you're an Israelite, they know the scripture. And they from another nation. They might whoop like, nigga, it's your fault we in this condition. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, hey, you might, you might want to be careful about running around telling people really? you Israel. Uh, really? You know what I'm saying? Israel got the whole world jacked up right now. And I'm proud. Yeah, I'm proud. And I'm so proud that I come out here and do what the Lord say do. Right. That's why I'm proud. But if I'm sitting on my butt, I won't tell nobody I'm Israel. Right. Because Israel is supposed to be what? Doing the job. Israel's point ain't supposed to be sitting at home, you know what I'm saying, thinking it's okay for us just to go to church on Shabbat. You know what I'm saying, on Shabbat, sir, and just get the word and sit at the crib. That ain't what we supposed to do. The Lord called us to be watching. He didn't call no other nation to do no watching. So ain't nobody else got no business doing no watching. Right. I shouldn't see no other nations out here with this book, bringing this word. What you got, bro? Hosea 4 and 6. Go ahead. My people are destroyed. Why the Lord say his people destroyed, bro? For a lack of knowledge. For a lack of knowledge. So that go back to, that go back to how long you simple one. Give me John 8, 32. Go ahead, read, read, read. Because thou has rejected knowledge. Well, that, thou has rejected knowledge. Nobody want to read. Nobody want to study. Nobody want to get the word and get understand. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. We can definitely look around, man, and see we are destroyed. We are gone. Nobody says anything about the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Look here, they put a McDonald's up here. And look at the surroundings. You go out to you go out to the other side, the Gentile side of town, you ain't gonna see all and all the type of stuff in the parking lot. It ain't gonna look like that. It's gonna be pretty. But when you come over here to us, West End, you got a fully loaded cop inside the restaurant. You know what I'm saying? You got a fully loaded police inside the restaurant. But you go to the other neighborhood, you don't see that. You go to the other side of town, you don't see that. You come to where Israel located, you're going to find them everywhere. You're going to find the police there. It's really like, it's really like, uh, 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 a small portion of martial law right now. If you want to see how it is, just come to the black neighborhood. Because now you, you're going to see, like, matter of fact, it's another uh, Burger King around the corner. 
They got a police in there. You know what I'm saying? You got police in this McDonald's, and then you got police like circling around the block. So they see us come out here with the Bible, man. Man, they got to get on the phone with the goon. Niggas read. We got a problem. We got some issues. They ain't supposed to be read. What happened? Didn't our forefathers beat them down where they, where they couldn't read? How did they end up finding out? Because that spirit of the Lord don't put on them. But back to what I was saying, this is, my, this is a small portion of martial law over here in the hood. Because that's really where it's going to start it. Just like the Bible said in the old days, uh, when, Je when Jerusalem is com you know, compassed around the battle with armies, then you know that the end is not. So guess what? When they bring martial law, they come in, uh, in the city. They're not, they're not doing martial law outside the city. They're going to do them inside the city. So guess what? Jerusalem is going to be compassed around the battle with armies once again. Always us. Always us. You know what I'm saying? And guess what? And guess what? Just like the brothers was uh, sounding long back then, they sounded like, give me Ezekiel 28. Do you have anything? Yeah, hey, John 8, 32, right? I will also Ezekiel. reject thee, Jeremiah 28, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Uh -huh. So the Lord said, you going to reject you. Why you going to reject Because you don't want to get no truth. You don't want to get no knowledge. You going to reject us. So guess what? We reject you. Keep reading that, brother. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. Worship men, man. We worship. We worship. This who we worship right here. This who we praise right here. That's that's our God right there. Oh, Michael Jackson. We got our kids running around worshiping Justin Bieber. But he he satanic all day long. This is their God. This is who they worship. They worship Lil Wayne. They worship Ti. These are sisters and faggots that they praying to, man. That they trying to be like. These boys homosexuals, man. But they sitting up here, but when they see men like us, man, they think we crazy. Nah, man, if you run around with your pants sagging dog, guess what? You are you putting off a homosexual spirit. It came from it came from prison. That's where it came from. When you went around with your pants down in prison, you let them know that you wanted to do a sexual favor. That you were willing to bend, get bent over by a man in prison. That's why they went around with their pants down. But this who y'all worship. This who y'all worship, Lil Wayne. This who you worship, this brother is soul to soul, man. Right. He has sold out, man. Oh, man. I, I know what you're about. You know what I'm saying, yeah. bro? And the thing is, man, we come out here to tell you, you can pay it, baby. We come out here to tell y'all, you can pay it. Yeah. We come out here to tell y'all, man, wake y'all up, man. We the children of Israel, Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Y'all wake up, man. We the children of Israel, bro. Yes, sir. Hey, it's just more than just knowing though, bro. Right. You know what I mean? Don't just know it. Just keep walking and carrying. You know what I mean? You gotta right. do more than just knowing it. You gotta take this knowledge and apply it. That's right. You know what I mean? So it ain't just about exposing these brothers. Right. It's about waking us up. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So this, this is our that, history book, man. This is our history book. This right. Bible right here, man. Right. It's us. That's us in there. We, we ain't out here about. teaching no Sunday doctrine. No, no, not, not at, at all, all, man. You know no. what I mean? We, we used to be out here like y'all, bro. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? But we find out that they lied to us, man. You know what I'm saying? All the stuff they done told us here in America, they done lied to us, bro. The Bible, why do you think they wouldn't let us read? When our ancestors got here, they wouldn't let them read the Bible, dog. Because they knew it was talking about us, not no Africans. Because Africans ain't our people. Yeah. Africans and Negroes ain't the same people, and they know that. Okay? Right. But they took these books so we couldn't read it, man. So now we read and really and understanding that the Bible said a certain people was going into captivity by ships. You think about it, hold on man, we the only one came by the ships. It said we was gonna be sold to bomb men and bomb women as as a bomb man is a male slave, a bomb woman is a female slave. Then you think about it, who was sold a slave? Who came to America? Who did they put on chopping blocks? And you see the signs that say for sale. Who was that on the blocks right there for sale? It was our forefather. You understand what I'm saying? But they never wanted us to find this out, man. So once we find it out. Wake up and turn back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Cause America about to fall, man. America's finished, man. America done, man. They all they doing is they pushing it along. They pushing it along, man. To keep y'all sleep, man. They keep y'all entertained with these holidays, man. You can't find these holidays in the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? Christ was not that.